Let's play Terraria on GNU slash Linux. So, this video is going to be like many other videos, except this time I think we're actually going to succeed in getting some wings. So I've mentioned, if you've watched the other videos already, that the wings I'm going to go for are uh, like hell wings, something like that. Basically, I need to kill one of these demon guys. They'll drop a fire feather or something like that. It's literally like a 1% or 2% chance that they'll drop it. But once they do, I can then combine it with probably some souls of flight. And then I will finally have wings. Now, I'm going to build an arena. That's why I've got this workbench and this water candle here. Just got to get a little bit of stuff for the arena. I guess it's not really an arena. It's going to be more of a trap because I'm going to try to just basically let these guys come to me. And I already see one down here. How great would this be if this guy drops the flower? All right, this guy's being tricky. Okay, he's actually being really tricky. So let's just do this real quick. And he did not drop it. So I want to get a banner for those guys so that they can't wreck me because they have wrecked me in the past a few times. So I want them to not be able to do that. Um, this looks like it's probably going to be pretty good. Let me... Oh, actually, why don't I build out of Demonite as well? Kind of like Demonite. It looks like, uh, like a purple alligator scale. Oh, yeah, I should build it high enough, though, so that those guys can't be a problem. I mean, not that they're really a problem, like, they're so weak that I can literally one-hit them, but... Like, I just don't want them to spawn. Like, I want to try to avoid nonsense enemies that are not going to drop what I need from spawning. Because they're just a waste of my time to kill them. Alright, so let's do... Maybe something like this. Oh, I guess I should get a door, too. Because basically, I'm going to put myself inside of, like, a little room where these guys can't really get to me. I guess I could actually... Well, never mind. Too late for that now. <laughs> I'm doing unnecessary building. All right, this should be like... Well, let's do it a little bit more over because I don't want guys getting trapped inside of like that little apartment like they are over there. Um, so maybe we'll set our table... Here, let's go a little bit more. I think I actually hear a Hellbat somewhere. Alright, so we'll place this. So now, more enemies are gonna spawn. Um, and I'll actually make the little room, like, right in here. Um, let's see, we'll go... One, two, three... Oh, why are these guys spawning? That's annoying. I might have to go down further. Mm. Yeah, let's do that, because I don't want the water candle to increase the spawn of those guys. Because they are not the enemies that I'm looking for. So maybe we'll do it like this. So we'll place that. Place the water candle. Do I have any bombs? Uh, I wish I had some bombs to just knock out all this wall over here. Alright, so... Now we'll build a little safety house for ourselves. I know I said I was going to try to avoid the worms, but that doesn't seem like it's going to really happen. Because if I build too far up, then I start getting enemies from the other biome. All 
Oh, there we go. Our first Red Devil customer. Now, what I probably want to do is have like a little hole where I can stick a yo-yo through. Uh, let me see, is that big enough? Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, so basically I could just stick a yo-yo through there and then uh, these guys can't really do anything to me because I'm inside of a little hidey hole. I need to get rid of all this crap though because this guy, he's... He's stuck. He's too... He's too stupid to know what to do. Or maybe he's smart. Because obviously if he comes over here, he'll get wrecked. Oh, I almost forgot. I do have a demon banner. I have both a demon banner and a hellbat banner, so I might as well hang those up. Did that guy go? Oh, he's up here. Just kill that guy. All right, so let's get this cleared out so that these guys can come to me and get wrecked. Kind of tricky. I want to make sure I do this without getting myself lavaed on. Alright, get rid of that. And alright, this is coming together now. So we'll drain that. There's going to be so many of these annoying slimes. I kind of want to give them, like, a platform where they can come up here. Or actually, it might be better if... Wasn't there a guy? Oh yeah, see? This guy, like, practically blends in. So maybe I need to have, like, some type of a, uh... Like, maybe something where I can stick a yo-yo down here, too? Let's see. Let's see what I can do here. Mmm, this is gonna be a little bit sketchy. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. Right, let's just get rid of this guy. Let's get rid of this, too, because they like to go under here and get stuck. Is there actually a slime? To oh, no, he's shooting that guy. Yeah, let's actually avoid that. And, um... Okay. We'll do this. These. Oh, that was almost bad. <laughs> there we go. I guess technically a bat could still get in, but whatever. And, um, oh, I'm almost forgetting arguably one of the most important parts. So I want to place my little fireplace and my heart lantern. Let's see, heart lantern, I'll just put it right here. Fireplace, I'll put it right here. Oh, there's people spawning in here too. Yeah, so I need to like open this up. Otherwise, they're just going to come in here and get stuck. Alright, so let's, um... 
Actually, I could probably drain this. That would lower the lava. Well, nah, I don't think I really want to lower the lava level. I think I see a demon up there. Did I see one? Oh yeah, here we go. All right, come into my little trap. Ooh, that guy hurts a lot. Like, the way that they fly around is just so annoying, because, like, they're not... Like, their AI is kind of smart, because they don't just aggro and go straight for you. Like, they actually kind of sort of seem like they know what they're doing. Alright, so... Gotta wait for another Red Devil to spawn. I was just looking at the wiki, and it's actually a 1.3% chance of the fire wing, I mean the fire feather uh, dropping. So, slightly better odds, you know, better than nothing. All right, we got another one. He's, of course, being a chicken. It seems like all of these guys are avoiding me right now. So I don't want to actually kill him down there. I want him to come out. Let's see, maybe if I just free him? Maybe if I just get rid of all this? Okay, there we go, he's coming out now. No! Oh, wait, did he just... Okay, no, that was a living block thing. I need to not... Actually, I can kill him over here as long as I have something to, like, catch their loot. Okay, this is not a good position to be in. Yeah, that's it. You fly away like a chicken. And then you come back. No, you go down there. And I swear, these guys, their movement pattern is just so annoying. It's like, it's like kind of unpredictable, you know? Uh, maybe it is predictable and I just need to pay closer attention. My imp better not kill him down there. Don't kill him down there! God, this imp is so annoying. Alright, this guy can just, like, come back up here. That'd be great. I think what I might need to do is just make, like, a thin layer of ash to cover the lava down here. Oh man, this guy is so aggravating. He, like, won't come out of the lava. I think he's stuck. Yeah, he's stuck. Oh, this is bad. Uh. I need to make this environment a little bit better. Because <laughs> right now, things are not great. Maybe get rid of this so that he can stop being stuck. There we go. Come, come on. Come up over the hump. Oh, this guy is so annoying. Okay, so... I really hope he doesn't try to attack me from above. Dude, why do you have to be in the most annoying place you could possibly be? There we go. Alright, so... Get rid of this. 
And uh, I can't really get rid of that because there's lava there now. Ooh, okay, so there's a voodoo guy. I want to be a little bit careful not to kill him where he's going to... Oh, never mind. Guess I'm fighting the wall of flesh now. It's a good thing this guy's easy. I don't think I've ever fought the Wall of Flesh going this direction before. I usually fight him going the other direction. Alright. Any good loot? I think I still need a, uh, a Ranger Emblem. Did he drop it? No. Firecracker. That sounds like it's better than my Imp Staff. Is, uh, is Impy getting replaced? Oh, this is just, like, a whip. Okay. Does this go through walls? Might be useful if it goes through walls. Nope. Alright, well that's something that we're just gonna end up selling. Alright, so... Back to what we were doing. Um... Mm -hmm. Kind of want to get rid of all of this so that it's just totally level because, you know, guys like to get stuck on this nonsense over here, too. So we'll get rid of that. Oh, shit. Hear another one of those demons off in the distance. So let's try to get all this sorted out before they start swarming me again. Alright, this might be okay, because I don't think they can really, like, get stuck. So, we'll do this, kill that guy, and kill you too, because you're annoying. Now, the only problem is that imps are going to spawn below me <laughs> if I do this. So, I guess it's kind of a damned if you do, damned if you don't type of scenario, but... You know, what are you going to do? I'm over here trying to just farm a single fire feather. I thought that was two of them for a second. So this guy's almost dead. Ah, oh, and another one spawned down there. See, like, that's what I'm talking about. Why do you have to spawn in these nonsense positions? where you know you can't get out. All right, so let's do this. Let's get rid of the roof here so that he doesn't have to think about being stuck anymore. There's another one down there. These guys are like having an orgy. What the heck? All right, you need to. You know what? I'm just. I'm just gonna yo-yo you. You're not even worth me looking in the eyes as I murder you. And and you, Mr. Imp, you're just annoying. Oh crap! <laughs> Holy crap! I just. I literally walked into lava. I literally walked through the door into- do I have health potions? Okay. Holy cow. You know what? I'm gonna just remove this block here so that I can never do that again. 
because holy cow, that was really stupid. All right, so hopefully nobody like really spawns down there anymore, or if they do, they can just get out and you know safely come to their doom. I guess we'll clear this whole thing out too. Here's one. See, this is better, but he's still going in the lava. Get out of the damn lava. Stop hiding in the lava like a like a fucking noob. All right, soul of light. Why do they drop a soul of light? That seems odd. You'd think that they would drop like a soul of night. Oh, I got a red devil banner. Okay, cool. So we're gonna place that so I can kill these guys easier. And you know what? I might put a heart lantern like way over here too. Just in case I go out of its range for whatever reason. Alright. Um, we have these living fire blocks. Pretty sure that the red devils drop those, but it's like, what are, you know, what's even the use in those? And once again, my building design has a flaw, which is that these slimes go down here and get stuck now. Okay, so this guy doesn't know what he wants to do with his life. There's another one over here, right? Yeah, he's stuck. And it is so aggravating when they spawn below you. Not the, uh, the red devils I was talking about. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I actually want to free you. Because you are going to have good things for me. I don't know how exactly I'm going to kill you without somehow... Oh, what am I talking about? I could just... Okay, it's free. Alright, so... I gotta be real careful of that thing. Because it does a lot of damage. Oh, it's murdering me. Go away. I'm trying to kill this thing. Because it's going to have good loot. Oh, God. I'm so bad with the yo yo. Alright, what'd you drop me? Just greater potions? Ugh, that's so lame. Well, give me a flying knife, too. What is this? Throws a controllable flying knife. Huh. Okay. Oh, that is useful. That is actually... That beats the hell out of a yo-yo. <laughs> All right, now this guy's gonna be in the lava, like an annoying person. Can you get out of the lava, dude? Oh man, these things are so annoying. <laughs> it's like he knows I have a flying knife, so he's literally just gonna stay in the lava because then he knows I won't kill him because he might have the feather that I need and if he dies in the lava then I won't get it. I'm telling you, these things know. Okay, so he just dropped a unholy trident. That's... already got one. And not only do I already have one, but I have one with like the best modifier, right? Yeah, I got a demonic one, dude. Okay. 
All right, I think things are pretty, pretty chill now. I kind of have my method for how I'm gonna deal with things. I guess there's really no point in having this little thing going out into the edge there. Oh, okay, that guy's just gonna go in the lava. Oh, he actually takes damage in the lava too? Man, that's not a good look, man. I really like this flying knife. <laughs> this is like my favorite weapon so far. I don't I don't know if this was in the game before or if this is like an all new thing. I'm still getting guys spawning in from the hollowed. I think this thing just stays out forever. Yeah, I definitely need to get a good modifier on that. Because this is something I'm going to be using for a while. Alright, I hear a demon, like, grunting somewhere. Oh, up here, okay. <sighs> Why would you even spawn in there, dude? That's like... <sighs> such an annoying place for you to spawn. Still no fire feather. Let's see. Hell Tower Banner. Oh, that's just that thing. Alright, Lava Bat. Don't I already have one of those up? Oh no, I have one for Hell Bat, but not Lava Bat. Interesting, I didn't know there was a difference. Okay, any other banners I need to place? I think that's good. What is this? Obsidian Rose. Reduces damage from touching lava. I should probably use this. <laughs> Since I've been touching some lava. And... okay. Oh, I don't have... I don't have my magic piggy. So when I get full, I'm going to have to go to the surface and sell stuff. That sucks. Alright, I hear some demon boys. Oh, he spawned below me. No flower. I wonder if there's something I can wear that makes rare drops more common. Because if I could double or like even triple my chance of getting this thing, then that'd be really helpful. Because I feel like I've killed a hundred of them already. Like not in this video, but I'm saying like through the whole playthrough, I feel like I've killed about a hundred of those guys. And since it's a 1.3% chance to drop, you would think that I would have gotten one by now. Yeah, I keep flying up to get these guys when I can just do that. Gotta remember to use my knife more often. Like when this guy's up here. Okay, he didn't drop anything. What's over here? Slimer? Kill that guy. And, oh, I thought that was gonna spawn the wall of flesh again. Oh, yes! Yes, I finally got the fire feather. Oh, man. For a minute, I was thinking that maybe I wouldn't even get it in this video. <laughs> and that I would have to make this like a three or four part thing. Okay, so I think to celebrate, um, let's go ahead and throw this voodoo doll into the lava and fight what's his face again. Wow. 
One of those guys killed me. That is hilarious. But, I mean, hey, I've, I've said it before. They are pretty tough. I wonder if I can go down there and still fight the Wall of Flesh? I mean, his health bar is here. How is that gonna work? <laughs> is he gonna turn around and try to come at me the other way? These are the questions that we need answers to. Might as well summon the imp. Come on, I need to go down fast. I don't have time for your cobwebs. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that is how that works. Okay, cool. Well, I still get my battle that I wanted, so whatevs. I don't think he gave me anything interesting. There's another pwn hammer down there. Um, I'll just dump, yeah, I'll dump this and this, because I'm sure that they give me more money for the other stuff. And let me go back and get my platinum that I dropped, because, yeah, I think it said I dropped some platinum. Or if I didn't drop a platinum, I had damn near close to it. And this is the guy that killed me. Got my revenge on you. Oh yeah, yeah, I did drop a platinum. Okay, so let's go back. Let's craft some wings. I think if I'm not mistaken, let's see, Soul of Light, Soul of Night. I might not even have any Souls of Flight. Um, but it's all good, because I know how to get them. Yeah, so you know what, I'm just gonna assume that I have none. Let's uh, get some money real quick. Um, Breaker Blade. Uh, no, I'm keeping that. So, just to make sure, yeah, Demonic is better. The Magma Stone, do I need to hang on to these? I guess I've got two, so I'll hang on to one. Um, which Pwn Hammer is the best? Okay, Demonic, so I'm gonna sell the other two. And is that everything we need to sell? I guess I'll give you the Hellstone. Okay. So, let's um, take one of these. I should always have one of those. Man, I can't depot anything. I guess, okay, so greater mana potions. Do I have any, like, shit tier potions? Oh yeah, lesser healing potions are pretty shit tier. So, I'll put greater mana potion in there. I guess I'll hang on to all these healing potions, even though I really don't need them all. Just stack up everything that I don't need. All right, so let me see how many souls of flight I need to actually make these wings. All right, so the answer is 20. We need 20 souls of flight. So let's uh, grab another water candle and another table. And yeah, let's go get that. Should be all I need, right? Yeah, because I'm pretty sure that I've got all my, um, like up here is pretty much an arena. So anyway, <laughs> for those of you who don't know, this is how you get Souls of Flight. You go up here 
to where you're kind of near the sky. And actually, up here on top of this cloud would probably be better. And there should be... There should be enemies that spawn up here, but for some reason they're not spawning now. Okay, yeah, I don't think these guys drop it, actually, though. There is a, uh, a wyvern that spawns, which drops it. Let's see, am I not high up enough for it? Oh, this has me kind of bummed out if I'm not high up enough. Well, that's fine, because there is a cloud up here, so I can literally just mine the cloud and then build a uh, proper sky arena that's actually high enough for these guys to show up. So let's do that. Watch me get a solar event now, though. Because if I couldn't get those, uh, those wings, or that fire feather to make the wings, then I was just going to do a solar event and try to get wings from, um, from Mothron. I kind of don't want to fight Mothron yet, though, because I feel like Mothron might, might fuck me up a little bit. I don't really have a good arena to fight him in. Like, I could just fight him at my house, but then he's going to kill all my NPCs, and it's, it's a whole thing. I really hope that water doesn't cause problems on my house. It probably is, though. <laughs> I probably flooded all my NPCs' houses. <laughs> oh, man, they are not going to like me. All right, how much cloud do I have? 228, that's more than enough. I say as I continue to mine more clouds. <laughs> I just want to make sure that I can go up high enough. Like, I'm probably going to go up to where, uh, like, basically where you're at the edge of space. Because I still haven't seen a wyvern yet, so clearly I need to be up higher. Oh man, this is confusing with the cloud background. It looks almost like solid cloud. Oh, and I still have ash in my inventory. I actually didn't have to do any of that. Oh well. Am I at the edge of space yet? Almost. Another cool thing is up here, there's less gravity. So, it'll be uh, a little bit easier to fight, I guess. Still no wyverns yet, though. I don't know what that's all about. Let's do some ash. Do I have, okay, I do have a heart lantern and fire thing, which is good. I'm gonna need it. Air is getting colder around you. Oh, that's, um... Crap. Let me check which one that is. I know that's one of the mech bosses. I'm not sure which one, though. I didn't record that entire fight with Skeletron Prime. Oh, well. It's lost forever, but you can see... I got these, uh, hallowed bars, so I totally kicked his butt. And we finally have a wyvern! Finally! I can start getting my souls of flight. Uh, uh. 
All right, so that's six souls of flight. Man, I'm kind of bummed out that that recording was paused the whole time I fought that guy. Oh well, I think I have a mechanical skull, so I can always just summon him again. Well, this guy's actually doing some damage to me. Got 13, so I should just need one more to die, and then I will have my wings. Come on, Wyvern. There we go. Oh, clicked out of the game. This dude is just so fast. We go. We got our 20. So now we can go back to our base and craft our wings. Oh, finally, it feels so good to have wings. Yeah, buddy. So, does this just make my rocket boots irrelevant now? I guess it does. Okay. So, again, since I had the recording paused, let's see, do I have a mechanical skull? I do not. All right. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to fight him in the next video. But I got my wings. That was the whole point of this video, was to get me some wings, and I did it. So I hope you guys enjoyed even though you missed out on the Skeletron Prime fight, but be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and tick the notification bell so you know when more content is being released. Peace out.